Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. Do you know that there is a package in Python that can help you get a report of your Pandas data frame in just one line of Python code? Yes, there is a package that exists and it is part of Auto EDA, Automated Exploratory Data Analysis, and that is called Pandas Profiling. So in this video, we're going to look at um, Pandas Profiling, what kind of features it has got, and then we are also going to check a Kaggle data set and then apply Pandas Profiling to it. So first of all, thanks to the developers uh, of pandas profiling so if you like this project um, please consider um, you know if, if you find it useful please uh, sponsor the project or if you cannot at least please start the repository that could mean a lot to the developer so let's go to pandas profiling what is pandas profiling pandas profiling is a package in python that can help you generate a profile report of a pandas data frame so there are a lot of automated EDA tools available these days. Um, but what if you want everything to be in one line and that can actually generate a report for you. And that is what Pandas profiling is for. So usually what people do uh, when they want to see some understand something about a data set, a data frame, uh, they might do a DF dot head, which can give you the top 10 um, rows or we see the column type or uh, as it is described here, we use describe. But what if you want more? What if you want, you know, um, like what, how many missing values you have got? What if you want um, uh, statistical reports? What if you want, uh, let's say for text data, what is the most frequently acquired, uh, uh, most frequently occurring uh, words? So what if you want all these things, but still you want it in one single line? And that is exactly what Pandas uh, profiling is. There is not much to learn about Pandas profiling. The API is quite simple. So if you if you look at uh, their uh, GitHub repository and also their documentation, you can understand that installing Pandas profiling is very easy. So you just do pip install Pandas profiling. Um, you have multiple ways to install. You can either use pip, conda, or directly from source. Once you install it, you can use Pandas profiling uh, in two different ways, primarily two different ways. One, they have a CLI version. So let me quickly show you the CLI version. So they have a CLI version. So you can use uh, the CLI version of Pandas profiling if you want, or uh, like most people, um, or at least like me, if you want to use it within Python, again, all you have to do is import Pandas profiling with some alias. Um, and uh, sorry, here in this case, we have imported a profile report class, but you can you know import it with some alias and then you can start using it. So let's go ahead and quickly check how to use Pandas profiling uh, on Kaggle dataset. So Kaggle is asking me if I'm there. This Kaggle, I'm there. So what have I done? So this is a data set. Let me quickly show you the data set first of all. What data set? So this is a data set um, that looks like this. And um, let's quickly thank who uploaded the data set, which is um, Gabriel Prada. So thanks uh, to Gabriel for uploading this data set. If you, if you recently followed a uh, US stock market, you would have probably heard about WSV, which is one of the subreddits that, uh, that probably uh, was in the middle of a huge um, short position uh, or a lot of people actually hedge funds lost money in that short position. So they're yeah, leaving that finance side. Uh, so this is a Reddit uh, uh, WSV subreddits post. So let's quickly see what is in there. And then the way we're going to do that is again if you're if you're not familiar with kaggle notebook you should definitely try it out it's more like a google collab uh, but uh, i think the advantage uh, i feel in this case is if you want to work on a problem or if you want to explain a problem on google collab you have to actually import a data set upload it on google drive you know that itself can um, make you exhausted um, but on kaggle uh, it's quite easy you just pick a data set and then you can start uh, simply using it maybe if you want me to show it from scratch i can actually show it from scratch but um, this is exactly so you create a new notebook give a title and then here i'm trying to show you what is the version so here on kaggle so this kaggle has got a container images so the package that you are installing currently on your machine may not be the same as the package that i'm explaining with but you know that shouldn't matter a lot so 2.11.0 is what i'm explaining so quickly to see let's import uh, numpy pandas um, not required much but um, and pandas profiling as pp or if you want just you can import um, uh, profile report directly from this way you can do it either way i'm just importing pp and uh, import os just to show you what is the data set name um, this is the data set name but you can pretty much get it here so next let's load the data set 
df so now df head if you see it has got the head we have got a title score id url uh, i think number of comments probably uh, the created time body of it and uh, the timestamp i think probably when it is a video or image uh, you wouldn't see body i think that's that's a that's a catch here so let's now quickly try to run a pandas profiling report so the report i'm trying to run using part profile report and df is my data frame and then title is what i'm going to call it so if you i run this you can see that it would start uh it it has assigned the output to this so there are multiple ways for you to get that um, report let's go back to the documentation and then quickly see what what kind of things you can do so after you get a report you can actually create it as a widget and view it within your jupyter notebook option one option two you can convert that profile sorry report into a note uh, iframe so if you are not familiar with iframe iframe is uh, it's like uh, displaying a website's content within another website so iframe could help you uh, see the same thing uh, with uh, an html in the background so first one change it to widget second one make it iframe but what if you want the html report and you wanted to host it on uh, let's say github pages or some other place or you you want to you know post it in your internal organization server if you are using pandas profit then at this that is a point where you have to extract or generate an html report which will come to later so after we generate the report let's in this case convert into iframe so that we can actually see what's inside it let me move this aside you can see that the the notebook uh, sorry the report is getting generated 67 percent done okay uh it's still running you can see the cpu usage is pretty high the html is rendered and that's it we have a report which has a title overview variables interactions correlation missing value sample data so we can quickly see one by one so that you know what is inside pandas profiling i'm definitely not going to dive very deep into what is there inside pandas profiling because they they give you a very exhaustive report and you should definitely check it out yourself but to quickly see what is a overview so the most important thing i think um you like if anyone who starts with the data set is you need to understand number of columns you need to understand number of roles uh, rows uh, you need to understand uh, the percentage of missing values that you have got is there any duplicate uh, and like probably the memory it handles out of the column variable type how many are categorical how many are uh, numeric and it has got some warnings if you look at uh, the warnings you can see um, the cardinality and uh, you know number of zeros all those so if you want to if you want to actually reproduce the exact same thing you you can also get the configuration that they used so after you do that now you can look at variable by variable so like we saw we have got a bunch of um, columns title score id so now for each of them you can start seeing the report so title um what is uh, what is the title title is a text field right so when you see a text field now you can click toggle uh, for details so click toggle for details you click toggle for details now you can actually see um, the text related detail so to quickly show you how a text related detail would look um, or you know in comparison with a numeric value so you can when you look at the toggle details for a numeric value you can actually see you know statistical details like minimum fifth percentile first quartile median uh, q3 um, uh, third quartile and 95th percentile iqr skewness courtesies so all these all these descriptive statistics for a continuous variable is what you actually see here you can see the histogram um uh, pretty much uh, you know like with the details and uh, you can see the most commonly occurring value which is which is what almost you you see on a histogram but again if you want it uh, in terms of percentage of um frequency also if you want to look for outliers uh, this is another you know good place to so like minimum five values maximum five values um extreme values so you can this is how basically when you look at um, a numeric field you would see the most important aspects that you usually want to see when you look into it is it but for text uh, you can actually see on the other hand so it says maximum length of the text median length of the text mean length and like uh, you can see how how much it differs 
and then some sample if there is any unique um i mean like if if anything is repeating what kind of categories are there so you can see a uh, histogram a length of the categories like the kind of categories that they have got uh, and words so the most frequently occurring words uh, to their to gme i think um, given the <laughs> given the fact that um, gme the gamestop stock was recently very popular this data set has got gme as one of the most um, popular values uh, along with the other uh, you know um, simple english words uh, out of characters like what is the most important character and uh, what kind of text that they are using and uh, the, what kind of scripts that they are using and uh, if you see like uh, all, all 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 details about uh, the text uh, especially if you see words and um, this is again one, one important thing that you can actually see uh, when you want to see a text value so yeah um, <laughs> you can you can actually see a lot of a lot of uh, words that may not uh, be suitable for uh, nsf w um so uh, the other things that you get is uh, like for example url is another text so when you see url you can actually see the words um, but because this is one big word it's not uh, tokenized um so the body if you see the body again uh, maximum length categories uh, what kind of categories are there and uh, the words word frequency you can see so this is basically about text and um, if you want to look at primarily um, the the uh, numeric value uh, we we just saw the most important things everything related to numbers and uh, you know there are uh, like uh, average values and there are variance like uh, standard deviation variance uh, all these things so so you can you can basically get a gist of what is happening within a data set uh, using this so at the end um, after everything is finished this is only about variables until we saw so after that you can actually see if there is any correlation between any variable for example if there is any correlation between the score and then the number of comments so that is something that you can see like a uh, different type of correlation pearson correlation spearman correlation um so what like what whatever you want so and you can actually see that there is there is some decent correlation between um, comms number of comments and uh, score which is uh, uh, like obvious created because it's a timestamp it's it's getting you know captured here but uh, you can you can just change it and then leave it again another thing is when you look at missing value how much missing value is available so missing value is not available almost in any of the columns except body like i said um, if you actually upload an image or video so that like the, the body there is empty so that's probably you know another indicator for you to have a look at it um once we have missing value in place the next thing is sample row so you can have a look at sample rows and uh, top you know head and uh, tail and that's it it says that the report is generated with pandas profiling so at this point you have a detailed decent report uh, currently i think we had only eight columns so you may not actually know the pain of having a report that gets generated using pandas profiling but imagine like you are working for a company you've got a survey data and you've got like 30 40 columns pandas profiling can be really really extremely helpful in that case if you do that so what's next like we discussed before so if you want an html report so you can just click output html sorry uh, you can just say to file and it would generate the output html and uh, if you want the same report to be a json file then you can say profile to be json and then let's quickly see how the JSON data look like. If I print the JSON. It's not probably loading. I'm not. I think it's loading, but it is. My screen is frozen because of the computer CPU usage. You can see the CPU usage skyrocketing and uh, that's exactly why uh, my mission is uh, the kaggle session is um, closed so you can you can simply do uh, two json and then you can um, you can export it if you want like if you want to use it somewhere else another thing that you want to um, keep in mind is if you have got a lot of like heavy uh, data set then you can probably say minimal is equal to true which will uh, give uh, the most essential like 
minimal uh, information than uh, everything uh, again another uh, argument that you have got is um, you can say explorative is equal to true uh, that gives you more uh, features so i think this session is probably not going to work so i might have to kill this session let me see cancel run let's see if it works uh, i was just thinking that i would probably save the notebook and then show you the rendered notebook of how it looks except yeah i think i should probably show you the notebook let me let me go and see if i can see the notebook and let's see if it shows the rendered one so currently you saw that you are in the middle of a jupyter notebook and then you know the notebook was showing but um, what if we actually run it um probably as a side note um if you are familiar not familiar with kaggle adding tags is really really handy so keep adding tags so that your notebook is visible so you can see that um, it shows overview uh, like a nice table and variable type what kind of warning it has got um, you, you can also see the score so this is basically because we just um, we just wrote as it is but um, if we say i think iframe let me quickly edit it and uh, after we write the file i think i did not save my last version that's a problem I would probably delete my JSON thing that um, that took my CPU power. So let me say save version. Um, yeah, save and run, save and run, save. So at this point, um, if you fire up the console, you can actually see that um, the kernel is getting updated, which means you yeah, like uh, it's going to get the latest data. So once this uh, this, you can also see the versions. So like. All, all the versions, current version and previous version and the difference of these things. Um, go to viewer. Once it is done, you can have actually look at the code. It's um, it looks like it is not yet done. Okay, let's execution info. I think it should be done by this time. Let's executed let's see it says one minute ago let's wait and see if you're probably familiar with kaggle this may not uh, this may not be something that uh, you would have wanted to see but uh, yeah okay so title is an unexpected keyword so I think what is happening here is that um, it was looking at an older version. Let's when you look at it, let's see. Yeah, so the version that we just saw is 1.4.1 and what I was explaining to you is 2.11. So you need to understand uh, when the version changes, a uh, lot of things could happen. So that is probably something that is to take away from this. So. After this video, I'll update this um, this notebook and then keep the latest version so you can you can have a look at it. I hope this video was helpful. Once again, if you like uh, Pandas profiling, uh, please please give a star and shout out to the developer. And uh, if you want to support their project um, financially, you can sponsor them. If you have got any feedback for me, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope this video was helpful to you in um, speeding up your EDA process. And if I had not said this, ETA stands for Exploratory Data Analysis. And uh, thank you so much for listening to me. Have a nice time. See you next time.